Okay, so hello. Um, today I want to show you a video uh, how you can upgrade the firmware of a brocade, a brocade fiber switch. Um, it's pretty straightforward, uh, but I, I still wanted to show you something because I didn't find any ma many videos on the internet. Okay, so um, in my case, I have a, a EBM blade center chassis, so it's a brocade for EBM blades. Um, if you have HP or Dell, I think it's uh, the same procedure and which with HP it's even uh, easier because you can update your firmware with uh, Update Manager. So um, what do you need? First of all, you need of course the correct firmware from uh, ABIA. So if your firmware is still on 5.5, I recommend that you upgrade first to the 6.3 or if there is any higher, choose that one. I first upgraded to the 6.4, a uh, 3 first, and then uh, here's the 3, and then I upgraded to the 6.4 2B4. So that was in uh, January, around January also. So um, now if you look for the update on the new version, the new version is 7.0.2. So you have to download the recommended uh, firmware from your vendor. You can also go to Brocade, but they're on a high level, but I don't recommend it if it's not, maybe it's not supported in the vendor. So once you download this uh, zip file, you have to extract it to the folder to the folder of your choice and then you can see that there is a version with all sub maps in it next what do you need else this uh, you need also a file server or in a tftp server i chose for an easy one file server a file server zilla uh, you can create a user uh, for it and then you have to share uh, connect with a shared folder and uh, see what you can do in it uh, with a password or no password it's your, your choice so put your um, firmware folder from ABM in the uh, folder from your FTP server in my case it's my underscore soft uh, folder so I'm, I'm good to go uh, and all you got to do is connect with the switch. Uh, that's this one. And then there are a few commands that you can show first. Let's see if it connects. Okay, don't mind that. It's still uh, I reset it back to default password. That's why it's giving a warning. You have to change the password. Now, first of all, I recommend that you check your health of the uh, fiber switch. So you can do that in the, in the GUI, in the graphic interface, or you can type in switch status show. Make sure it's all healthy. If it's not healthy, then I recommend you solve that problem first, of course. Uh, see, you can also see the firmware level if you type in firmware show. And you can see I'm on level 6.4.2. Now I'm going to upgrade to the 6.7.0.2. Uh, so all you got to do is firmware download, I think it was. Okay. You're given your IP address of your. FTP server, just a test name, and then here is the important one. Now you have to use this slash because the other one doesn't go with it, and you have to I have to print all this pad here. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. Sorry, copy this. And I'm gonna paste it in here. And then version 7.0.2 E1. That's your pad. You choose two for FTP. If you use another one as SCP or something, 
There is no password for now. Let's see if it's connecting. It has connected, yes, successfully. We're checking the file system. After the file uh, firmware is uploaded and uh, configured, then the switch will restart. So you will lose your connection. So make sure you have um, double fiber switches uh, for redundancy in your environment. Uh, or if you don't have, you have to make sure you disconnect every LUN and the server from it so you can reboot it. In my case, I have redundancy. Already did another switch. I can show you the other one. Okay, it's already here. Okay, you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. Okay, in the meantime, I'll show you the other one. I've already done that one, so uh, that's the 23. And also, yeah, give me a warning. Okay. Uh, let's see, can I then show you the firmware level of this one? As you can see, my primary and my secondary version are on 7.0.2. For now, it's stable because I already upgraded my Blade Center chassis firmware also. Okay, I'm gonna pause this because it's gonna take a while, a minute or two. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. Okay, hello again. Um, in the meanwhile, the uh, update has succeeded and my switch has rebooted. I did a ping to it to see when uh, it came back and let's, it's seeing a ping again. So let's see if we can connect to the switch again. Looking good. Yeah, the warning, not mind. Now let's see if the firmware is updated. And yes, it's updated. My first partition is uh, alive on 7.0.2 and the other one is still 6.4. That looks good. And that's it, how you update the Brocade Fiber Sun Switch. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or uh, blog me or leave me a message on my blog page or Twitter or something else. Thank you.